everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some amazing Cultivation Simulator. So we have moved through the prologue tutorial and the basic tutorials, and now look at the depth of the Cultivation tutorials that we need to work through. Um, so this just shows you how much is going on in this game. But I'm very, very grateful that they do have these tutorials embedded uh, because I think the learning curve would, you know, nearly be prohibitive if they didn't. All right, let's go for it. Content description. Learn the methods and meaning of foundation training for outer disciples in this tutorial. Start. Okay. So click any NPC. All right. And click to open the Law and Cultivation menu. So it's right here. So there's like their health, there's their work orders, there's their personality, and here we go. As shown in the image, if an outer disciple skips their daily training routine, their foundation will be reduced by 1k. Even a disciple who has completed their foundation training is no exception. So it does say this. So it's like they've got to meditate every single day. Interesting. Okay. An outer disciple's foundation training is only complete when their foundation reaches 25k. This is the foremost requirement to becoming an inner disciple. Ah, so there's some kind of path of progression for these meditating individuals who are looking to cultivate their self. And outer is like the first step, and then inner is even better. Okay. Um, click to activate work hard. Okay. Um, outer disciples in your sect will do foundation training when they've got spare time. Okay. So... This is foundation training. We're activating work hard. Not sure what that means. They're just, are they meditating about having a good work ethic? Is that what that means? Click to close the law and cultivation menu. Okay. Click to open the work schedule menu. All right. So we're going to go to the work screen, which we've done before. Cl uh, click eight work in the timetable. Oh my goodness. Fascinating. So you actually set a timetable for them. Wow. All right. And we're going to set this block of time after breakfast, I guess, that was normally devoted to working. It will now be training. And then we're also going to set a block below that to training. So we've given them... Um, two hours of training? Is that how that works? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, two hours of training. That is how that works. Huh. Close the page. Click the build in the bottom left corner to open the build page. Okay. Click sect to open the sect buildings page. Sect. Click training spot. Okay, so I'm building a sect, so this is like a place for them to meditate, I guess. Um, place a training spot at the designated location. Select a building site, press R to rotate. No, that's fine. Um, right click, and then click. I don't know why I pushed right click, by the way. Oh, to, to stop building, I get it. Um, and then push 2x speed. Wait until the Outer Disciple enters the training spot and begins building. The player can arrange and adjust a timetable for Outer Disciple's training to ensure that they follow their daily training routine. An Outer Disciple who has activated work hard will train outside of their daily work. Huh. Okay. So, I'm on, it's like through personal cultivation, I'm making them better workers. B 
because once they've got the 25,000 to turn on work hard, we'll train. they'll train outside their daily work. Actually, maybe not. Maybe work hard just means like they'll do their training outside their daily work time So because they're hard workers. Disciples with certain tags can gain foundation faster. Um, okay. Other methods to improve foundation. Um, the player can place the cursor on Bear Gall. The player can place the cursor on Bear Gall to see the foundation provided by it. Um, okay, so it's a medicine that's de that decays in about three years, two and two and a half years or so, um, and then it's selectable and it gives 4,000 foundation. Click any NPC. The player can use the status menu in the bottom at any time to quickly access information on an Outer Disciple's foundation and adjust their training strategy. Okay, so they're at 36 out of 25,000. That's a long way to go. Click the Eat button in the menu below the character. Okay. Select, click to select Bear Gall for the Disciple to eat. So you're going to eat um, bear gallbladder? This disciple has quickly gained a lot of foundation by eating a bear's gallbladder, maybe. I don't know. Okay, cool. Items like pills and elixirs can also be eaten to quickly gain a lot of foundation. And there are also other ways to accelerate foundation training, waiting for the player to explore. Confirm. All right, so there's one done. Learn how to select a suitable law, the meaning of law matching, how to study from a master, and several common training modes in this tutorial. Wow, interesting. Oh, there's a master. Check, uh, click the notification for completed foundation training in the left. Taiji, which I'm not pronouncing correctly, but I'm trying succeeded in laying foundation okay click the promote button in the disciple status promote match 50 percent this disciple is not suitable for the current law please check if another disciple matches the law um i don't know what that means the sunflower refining law um so they didn't make it so we need to promote somebody else so we'll click them promote and then they have a really good match the player can use the law matching chart to see if a disciple is suitable to practice the law the higher a disciples five attributes are the better they will match the law so different disciples may have different matching laws okay um choose law one of the true elemental laws of the Taiyi sect. Only women are allowed to cultivate following this law. Use the purest power of yin from earth to create a pure yin spirit. Leave the mortal body behind and ascend as an immortal. If practiced by a male cultivator, his sex would be reversed. Hmm. Okay. Um, so the sunflower refining law. So this is must be why the... The male guy was a bad match for this. Yes. 2x speed. And then she's getting promoted. She's glowing blue. This person's practicing. Mentally unstable. Oh, no. Once a law is selected, it cannot be changed or canceled. So how well a law matches will have a large influence on a disciple's future practice. Confirm. Click Mentor in the status menu. Okay. Please select a suitable inner disciple. All right. Her. Um, she has learned Wandering Facing the Void. Hmm. Wow. I'm still working on that one myself. Confirm. All right. Wait until the disciple acknowledges them as a master. So... 
she was like praying and then she's acknowledged them. Click to select the inner disciple in the state of Golden Core. A master can teach their disciples the manuals they have learned. When a master teaches a manual, it will cost less inspiration. Okay. Um, when a disciple is promoted to an inner disciple, they can choose an inner disciple in the state of Golden Core or higher to be their master. When a disciple's law is the same as the master's, the disciple's practice will be more efficient. I see. Um, the player can click here to set the training mode to auto, so that the disciple will automatically change their training mode if needed. Okay. So I guess we'll click on balance. The player can click here to set the training mode to practice, so that the disciple will continue to gain a large amount of experience during the practice. Okay. The player can click here to set the training mode to seek peace, so that the disciple will continue to improve mental state while seeking peace. Okay. And the player can click here to set the training mode to training, so that the disciple will continue to gain a lot of inspiration and a little extra experience during the practice. Trains automatically for increased inspiration experience. Huh. After a disciple becomes an inner disciple, there will be four more training modes, each of which responds to inner disciples' different needs for their practice. For example, practice is mostly to gain experience for faster breakthrough. Seek peace is to improve mental state in case the disciple becomes enthralled. Training is to gain inspiration for the study of manuals. And the player can also choose auto to let inner disciples adjust their own training pace. Hmm. So practice is for faster breakthrough. Seek peace is for mental state if they become enthralled. And training is to get inspiration. The player can select different training modes according to each inner disciple's individual needs. I see. Uh, in the next level, we're going to learn how to gain an automatically managed stamina. Oh boy. Um, okay. Methods to gain stamina. Check stamina. Click and select an inner disciple. The player can place the cursor on the stamina bar to check stamina. An inner disciple's practice needs to continuously cost stamina, and when stamina hits zero, the disciple cannot keep practicing until they consume elixirs or food to replenish stamina. Okay. The player can place the cursor on stamina pill to see its effects. Um, Alright, stamina pill. Improves the body's ability to generate stamina, increasing hunger consumption rate, and stamina conversion rate for seven days. Okay. Eat. Stamina. Three up. Okay. Wait until stamina is replenished. Alright, check the stamina bar in the status below. Now the disciple's stamina has been replenished by consuming the elixir. It says stamina 3. Um, click practice in their menu. Alright, so we're changing them from their aim. Inner disciples can also consume food and convert it to stamina or increase the consumption rate of food and the gaining rate of stamina to further improve the conversion effect from food to stamina. Sure. Click to open the Law and Cultivation menu. The player can click here to set Auto Eat so that the disciple will automatically eat food to gain stamina. Okay, that seems good. Inner Disciples will automatically consume food for a constant supply of stamina. The player can click here to set elixirs first, so that the Disciple will automatically choose to eat elixirs first to gain stamina. Okay. There are many items that increase stamina, or the gaining rate of stamina, such as rare medicine and treasures, elixirs, talismans, etc. Alright, so it's interesting, you can at least automate that. I mean, but look at this screen over here. So they're meditating, they're empty. I don't know if that is at their belly or their soul. 
And then this must be their mental state. They are composed. Um, they're a generation one disciple. Innocence, sympathy, sensibility. Unreal. Okay. Learn the meaning of key absorption and fasting and the difference between the two in this tutorial. The player can place the cursor on fasting pill to see the instruction. So a fasting pill, consume the fasting pill to become immune from hunger for two days. Wow, nice. Click and select to enter disciple. The player can place the cursor on the need for food bar to check the need. Yeah, it looks like they're really hungry. Equal, uh, food 32, equilibrium 30. An inner disciple has trained their key to the extent that they absorb energy from the surrounding environment and no longer need to eat food. Wow. That's some serious chi or key. Fascinating. Click eat. Select the hunger pill, the fasting pill. I wonder why I need to select that though. I thought they were like they had trained themselves to just not need food, but whatever. The player can place the cursor on the need for food to see the change. So now their food has gone up from like 32 maybe or 30 to 81, and then their equilibrium is 100. So I don't know what the difference is between the two, between equilibrium and food and how they relate but I'll figure it out. The reason for fasting in the game is to reduce disciples consumption of food and water to decrease their need for food and drink and therefore the cost of resources but reducing an inner disciples need for food and water will reduce the amount of stamina converted from food. Okay. What is key absorption? Check an idiot pill. The player can place the cursor on the Enedia pill. Consume Enedia pill to gain the ability of key absorption for two days, automatically recovering hunger. Alright, I'll select this inner disciple. And looks like their equilibrium is below their food. So we need to say eat this. And then they'll run over and they'll eat it. And then now, it's the same effect it feels like their food and their equilibrium went up the reason for key absorption is to gain energy from the environment in order to maintain the level of hunger and thirst the more efficient a disciple absorbs key the better they can convert food to stamina when an inner disciples consumption of food and water increase the amount of stamina convertible increase too Maintain your level of hunger and thirst. So it's better than fasting if they abs are absorbing key. Or this is what you want to do to like, you want to toggle them between fasting and then absorbing key and replenishing. Okay. Learn how to craft artifacts, concoct elixirs, and draw talismans in this tutorial. Sure. All right. After a disciple becomes an inner disciple, there will be a new interactions waiting to be activated by building these unique buildings. Click and select an inner disciple. Click alchemy in the character status menu. Click to select stamina pill. It improves the body's ability to generate stamina, increasing hunger consumption rate and stamina conversion rate for seven days. Click confirm. Select an alchemy furnace. Okay. And click the loop button in the alchemy furnace below. Okay. Click 10x. So we'll make 10 of them, I guess. Click 3x speed. So they're going to like fly out here, take all the ingredients from the supply pile, and then build stamina pills. Um, click the close button by the stamina pill in the alchemy furnace page to cancel production. Concocting elixirs not only needs the basic materials for elixirs, but disciples also need to increase their alchemy level or learn other elixir recipes 
in order to concoct more advanced elixirs. The player can also use loop to concoct elixirs in batch or cancel the loop to stop concocting. I see. Click and select an inner disciple. Click craft in the character status menu. Click artifact crafting, okay. Select an item to refine. I guess I'll select uh, this holy stone sword. And the graystone blade. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to select the graystone blade to craft. There they go. Wait until it's crafted. They're working hard. Any common material can be used to craft artifacts, but it will cost an amount of key. The higher the tier, the more key it needs. The success rate for artifact crafting is positively associated with the disciple's mental state, as well as their artifact crafting level. So they need to have a lot of key, they need to have a good mental state, and be have a good artifact crafting level. Okay. Um, click draw in the character status menu. How to draw talismans. Okay. Select a piece of talisman paper. Click agility talisman. Oh. Please follow the instructions to draw a talisman, then confirm after it is finished. Oh, interesting. So I actually have to, like, do the calligraphy here? All right. Okay, confirm. Multiple talisman drawing, yes. Wait until it's drawn. Click to select talisman drawing table. Click produce. As shown in the production, uh, the produce page, there are a few different kinds of talisman paper, which will have different bonus effects after the talisman is drawn. Generally speaking, the bonus effect is positively associated with the tier of the talisman paper. All right. So, is there an easy way to like determine the tier? Anyway. How well the player draws the talisman will be the quality of the final product, which is also an important factor that influences it effect, its effect. Wait a minute, so I have to be doing this calligraphy well to make it good? Oh no. Um, the player can place the cursor on rubbish to see how much key it has absorbed and stored. Okay. Rubbish. And it's got 300,000. It's a lot. Um... Click Smelt in the bottom of the screen. Select the rubbish. Right click to cancel target selection. The player has obtained a few spirit stones by smelting rubbish just now. In the game, various items will gradually absorb key from nature. An inner disciple can smelt them to obtain spirit stones and dispose of unneeded resources. Fascinating. I mean... So the waste that's just sitting there is drawing key from the environment, and then an inner disciple can refine that, get spirit stones, and then get rid of the trash at the same time? Wow. I mean, that's our environmental problem pretty much solved if we can get this going. That's unreal. All right, everybody. Well, I think this is a good place to stop this tutorial episode, and we will pick up in the next episode finishing more of this and seeing um next we're going to see about the main factors that affect cultivation speed of an inner disciple so we're going to learn all about how to get these inner disciples even stronger i hope you all have an excellent evening or day i want to thank you for watching and i'll check you guys next time take care